Let's start on the bottom toolbar with the blue plus symbol. This will allow you to drop in any additional media, video, or audio clips into your project, as well as create any voiceover tracks. Let's add an audio track to this video. Adobe has a library of audio that you can browse with some options to use for free. Any options not labeled with that purple star. You can preview an audio track by pressing the play button on the left. And once you're satisfied with an audio track, select add to place it on your timeline. You can use any of the editing tools we discovered in that last video to trim, cut, or rearrange your audio tracks as well. You've just added an audio layer to your project. Multiple video and audio layers can be stacked to give more life and pizzazz to your project. You can better view those layers by going to your bottom toolbar and selecting the layering view. That's the button with a solid line and three smaller lines branching out from it. This reveals more layers that you can use to drag and stack your digital media assets. You'll notice a few other timeline layer options popped up on the left side of your screen as well. The lock option can be toggled on or off and will simply lock the track you select, meaning that no edits can be made to it while the lock is on. There's also a volume button to toggle your video sound on or off and that layer view button, that eyeball, to toggle the video layer on or off as hidden. You'll also notice a mic option. Pressing this button will allow you to directly record voiceover audio onto your layer using your phone's microphone. Press the record for a quick countdown, and then when you're finished recording, just press the red record button again to end the recording. Let's go back to our toolbar at the bottom of your app. We've already covered this layering view button to hide or reveal your audio and video layers. Now we'll finish reviewing the other ones. To the left of your layering view control is your project assets button. That kind of looks like a storage bin. Selecting this button will take you to your digital bin of assets. All of the video, the audio, and the graphics that you imported. From here, you can add digital assets to your timeline and you can organize them by sorting or filtering them or renaming them. It's a handy spot if you have lots of files that you plan to import and edit. Let's select the X at the top right of your screen to return to your project window. And back to the toolbar down there, the button on the right of your layering view is your aspect ratio control. Selecting this button allows you to resize your video project. Remember we chose this option when we first created a project. But if you decide now that you need a different video ratio for the platform that you'll be sharing your content to, you can simply resize it right here. 